Today in the crypto space, we see the market going sideways. Bitcoin and Ethereum holding steady. Bitcoin at 28,000 and Ethereum at 1,800. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, obviously waiting for these heavyweights to make some critical decisions. Are we coming down to lower levels so that we can buy those dips? Or are we going to get a nice bounce to the upside and potentially see an altcoin season? Guys, as we see these retracements, we are definitely getting some good buy opportunities. And in today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator. But more importantly, I want to talk about one altcoin that is looking good from a retracement perspective, and that project is called IMX Immutable X. So you know what? Let's talk about the news. Let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and let's get right into it guys. If you're new to the channel special welcome on the channel We talk about cryptocurrency Bitcoin Ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities Whether we go up or down bearish or bullish. It doesn't matter We want to prepare for that volatility so that we can make those gains and if you appreciate that strategy Do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos Including the live stream at 7 30 Eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action Action. guys if you have any projects that you want me to cover here on the channel let me know in the comment section below but you can also hit me up on those socials the links are in the description and don't forget that i have that telegram group i'm trying to grow the members there trying to get some alpha going throughout the day okay guys let's begin the video by looking at the general market then we'll look at the bitcoin chart because again as bitcoin is a heavyweight we could use it as a leading indicator. If Bitcoin does come down, we could see these altcoins also follow Bitcoin's lead and come down to lower levels. And of course, we're going to be there to scoop up those altcoins on a fire sale. However, guys, if Bitcoin does get a little bit of support here, we could see a little bit of a rally in altcoins. And that could be the beginning of a potential altcoin season, especially if Bitcoin goes sideways at these current levels. Maybe at about 27,000 or 2,500, 25,000, sorry, we could go into some sideways consolidation here on the Bitcoin price while giving altcoins that opportunity to rally up. This could be very possible, guys. Of course, there are many other narratives like the sell in main go away narrative. There's a bit of a narrative here on Bitcoin and the congestion that's been, you know, experiencing the last little while, maybe a little layer of FUD there, a little bit of a FUD on Binance and all this kind of stuff. So a lot of to be to be spoken about. And of course, we have the inflation rate CPI data coming out. So guys, all important stuff. Obviously, we're going to discuss a lot of this during uh, tonight's live stream at 730 Eastern. Feel free to join me then. OK, so let's continue here. Let's look at the general market. Generally speaking, we can say that the market has been pulling back. Of course, we're getting some of those, uh, you know, green, uh, red candles throughout the day. We're seeing pullbacks throughout the market. And if you look at the potential downplays uh, in the last seven days, you can see that we are getting, you know, maybe about I would say five to 10% discounts throughout the market. Maybe a little bit more on some other altcoins. Of course, we have some that are retracing a little bit more than others, but give or take in the last week, we are getting a little bit of a dip, five to 10% throughout the market. Now, would I expect a further continuation to the downside? I think so. I am pretty convicted that we could get a little bit of a continuation and we could still get a you know, short term, a little pump as a little bit of a reef, a relief or, a um, you know, a correction before we continue coming down, because generally speaking, after a 10 percent discount, a little bit of relief to the upside is very possible. And then a continuation um, down is obviously very possible. So I'm looking at the momentum right now on the daily and on the four hour. And we're going to get into the Bitcoin chart and look at the momentum on some of these projects. And of course, IMX is the project of today. So make sure that you stay tuned. Watch to the end before uh, because we're going to get there very, very soon. But, you know, before we do that, let's look at the market. Let's continue here. We see Filecoin right now at a, at a, at a significant discount, 15 percent to the downside on Filecoin for me is a great opportunity to dollar cost average. You know, DCAing doesn't just mean that you're gonna DCA like only on a schedule. Like that is definitely a viable option. Like get in once a week and dollar cost average, once a month and buy the dip, you know, dollar cost average. For me, 
based on my dollar cost average strategy is to DCA when we see red days. Now we've been seeing about two consecutive red, red days here, which for me qualifies as an opportunity to start looking for DCA opportunities, looking for the projects that have retraced significantly. And right now Filecoin is definitely on the list. So I'm gonna definitely put Filecoin on my list for this evening. We can take a look at that project. And obviously if you have any other projects that you want me to cover on the channel, obviously you have a few options so you can hit me up on the socials but join me live at 7 30 you can request them live and we can talk about them uh as a community okay let's continue here what else do we have you know h bar 10 percent, sure not bad aptos 17 16 and a half percent to the downside guys if i was really bullish on aptos i may consider buying in but i do have a small bag and i'm still in profits on that small bag so i'm happy with that but Am I going to buy the dip on Aptos? I don't know. I feel like there are better opportunities to be buying the dips, especially fundamentally. Like near protocol, although it's not down 16% uh, like Aptos is, I feel a lot more bullish on near protocol. So for me, I would prefer to buy the dip on near if anything, but I still would like to look at the charts to see if near hit those levels of support or if there's a possibility of a continuation, right? It's all about momentum. And as a momentum trader, I plan on riding the momentum to the downside and to the upside, whichever way we're going, it doesn't matter to me. All I want is to be in the right side, whether we're going up or down doesn't matter uh v chain down 10 percent. i like v chain i feel like v chain is severely undervalued and i'm looking forward to v chain to finally waking up i want to get into a little bit more of a bag on v chain but my last buy opportunities was so low much lower than the current price that i feel like i would like to wait a bit more and sometimes that's part of my strategy as well i want to get in on absolute fire sales and perhaps get in at lower levels than i bought before especially on some of the projects that i'm bullish on like algo algo 8% almost there where I'm interested. I would like a little bit more of a pullback before I get into more. Obviously the graph 13%, that's not bad of a scenario guys. I wanna put this obviously on the list as well because keeping an eye on these projects um, is important because these things could wake up at any moment. Phantom, we talked about the Phantom chart. We fell through that gap, that volume gap, which is great. That means that we can probably get in from a position of strength now. After we fell through a gap, a volume gap, a weak spot in the chart means that now we're looking for support and we could potentially find support at the bottom of the gap. You know, all we have to really do is wait for, make sure momentum has bottomed out, wait for those bullish divergent signals and start piling in, start dollar cost averaging at the bottom of the the ranges okay so phantom looking good as far as a retracement and uh, uh, decentraland 12 percent radix 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 25 percent in the last seven days remember that radix rallied up so hard right and now it's getting a pullback that is equally if not equally as hard hard so re expect retracements down to the golden pocket 886 786 retracements that is absolutely healthy for a project like this to do and that would give us a signal to potentially buy the dip and uh you know especially if you were able to take some profits off the top here on radix um it's a, a great time to you know pile in again and build your portfolio back on a discount okay so i'm keeping an eye on radix i still feel like it could do a little bit more to the downside before we get in more kucoin coming down to lower levels uh five percent discount here we have bitget uh going up looking strong guys i wasn't able to get into this project as i was waiting for further retracement to see what happens sometimes you miss out and definitely here we're missing out on i'm missing out on this rally 15 percent to the upside in the last seven days looking bullish and this is all based in my opinion it's all based on the fact that people are looking for an a, a, an alternative to bybit bybit with this kyc i believe a lot of people are looking for alternatives nobody wants to give up their privacy and including myself so i did exit all my positions on bybit and transferred them over to exchanges such as kucoin bitget and many others so um looking forward to seeing bitget come down so i can buy the dip render 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 guys we've been talking about render on the channel almost every day for the past month and we've called good tops good take profits good bottoms and here we are retracing down to good levels to potentially buy the dips and you know i'm looking at about 
right now is not bad to be honest at about a dollar 70 this is not bad of an opportunity it is down approximately 22 to 23 percent in the last seven days this is a decent discount however the momentum hasn't shown me that it's bottom out yet that the bears are done so i'm i'm expecting them maybe at about a dollar 50 a dollar 40 ish and I've, we'll take a look at those levels of support look at the momentum when the momentum bottoms out and gets to oversold territory then what we'll do is start looking for good key areas to buy the dip but for now let render fall because if it's going to fall and you're going to try to catch the falling knife there's a good chance that you'll get wrecked so just hold on hold on let it come down and of course follow the channel i'll keep you posted join me live and we'll talk about render each and every day if we need to okay let's continue here um gmx coming down to those lower levels okay good opportunity there perhaps uh what else what else any anomalies here in the market everything is in a decent retracement even caspa cava is getting a little bit of rally up 10 percent in the last 24 hours looking bullish on that and there are many others guys today is all about imx immutable x i would like to take a look at that what where what is it ranked imx I am a Zillica. Did I scroll right over it? Let's see. If we, let's do a quick search. I am X. Immutable X 63. So it is the top 100. We have a pretty much a $2 billion um, circulating max supply. And we are about a billion dollars in of circula circulating supply, which means that there's another billion units left in to get enter circulation this could mean that imx is going to get a little bit of that sell pressure um or that pressure regarding on price keeping the price down as more tokens enter circulation so keep that in mind the current market cap it is at about 800 million dollar market cap so it is a somewhat of a larger market cap but since the bullishness i believe that it could still reclaim even its previous high would be great or get into a higher market cap based on its uh, competitors. As a neuro, zero knowledge proof, I think it could be, let's look at some of the tags here. Neuro, it's an Ethereum platform, NFT, play to earn, gaming. All of these narratives right now are hot narratives and important to consider uh, that gaming for me has yet to wake up. And the fact that it's a zero knowledge proof, it is a layer two and is gaming, smart contract platform, all this good stuff could be a very, very bullish thing for this project. So. I think that it's not bad of a scenario. I still feel like we could climb up a little bit higher. And from a technical perspective, from a technical analysis perspective, you know, the, the project has um, retraced significantly. But before we get into that, guys, I know you're here to talk about charts. Let's talk about Bitcoin and see what Bitcoin has been doing here lately. Bitcoin has been going sideways, unfortunately, giving us some time to think about, you know, what we could be doing with our capital. Should we be leaving it here in Bitcoin? Guys, I took profit here because i wanted to make sure that not only did i lock in some of these gains but then i can put some of that capital to work and buy the dip on some of those altcoins that have rallied up and you know what guys so far so good i took profits out of bitcoin put them into render and many other projects that rallied up after bitcoin started going sideways but the question is are we going to get that altcoin season usually the altcoin season do hit once bitcoin shows strength or at least go sideways within a trend within a sideways trend or a sideways consolidation that shows strength right now bitcoin looks like it could be coming down to lower levels and many individuals are anticipating a twenty-five thousand dollar bitcoin could we get that price target very possible guys let's get into first Further or deeper analysis here on the Bitcoin chart. I think that we're going to get into a consolidation period right here on this bearish pennant. This is a descending wedge, which at the end of the day should, statistically speaking, break down bearish to lower levels. Measured move is pretty much the distance between the top of the wedge to the bottom of the wedge, and it could give us um, estimated, you know, profit um, target at about twenty-five thousand, give or take. For me, that would be a great area to potentially take profits on any shorts or any type of yeah shorting position that you're into or even by the dip maybe dca just a little bit but of course we're gonna have to pay attention to momentum on the daily and so on but before we look at momentum oscillators what i'm thinking here for the price is that it would be very very healthy to see that the price still consolidate here let the price bounce off of this horizontal 
right at 27,000 get that bounce get another confirmation rejection here on along this trend line another lower high which would be a double confirmation of a trend reversal and then potentially start breaking down to lower levels if we hit this level i would be considering to enter a short position on leverage here because i would like to hedge against my losses basically my portfolio taking a beating based on the fact that bitcoin is going to drag down, down the martin market i wouldn't mind getting into a leverage position that could hedge against that downturn so in that case i would get in short around this level and i'll keep you posted along you know when i do enter and my actual entry uh points around this level remember i use a very scattered approach i don't go all in all at once i anticipate getting my my trade getting into the negatives and dcaing as we go up and if we go up i'm going to set a clear stop loss that i you know will walk away from my trade only sacrificing a, a certain percentage a very small percentage of my portfolio um, just in case it, in my, the, the trade goes against me. But right now, I still feel like the momentum could be coming down to lower levels. We still have this bearish divergence. The R size barely even reset. We didn't get even remotely close to the 30% mark here on the RSI. So for me, I still feel like we could be due for continuation to the downside very, very soon. And again, 25,000 is the target for now. Short-term target is 25,000. These EMAs and the histogram bars are still facing down down potentially coming down to lower levels so anticipate that in the in the short term I'm, I'm expecting a continuation to the downside here on bitcoin here on the four hour again bottomed out here on the four hour and we talked about this yesterday that the, the the idea here is that we may get some signs of bullish divergence right here right and i feel like getting rid of this because it th does complicate things we'll move it to the side for now and you can see that we didn't get that bullish divergence just yet but i feel like this consolidation eventually could give us a sign of bullishness in the sense that we're getting support and that we could come back up again and test this area for another point of a rejection and this is why i think that if we create another low lo a lower high it would be the time to get in get in short at this level and dca slowly upon this level of resistance to the upside okay so uh expecting a short-term bounce to the upside and then a final capitulation down to potentially hit that twenty five thousand. that's what i'm looking for it doesn't need to happen obviously none of this is guaranteed and obviously none of this is financial advice it's just a game of probability here guys and if you're able to use any of these indicators and get an edge over the market there's a likelihood that you can walk away profitable okay guys so make sure that you practice a risk management set those stop losses trail them up trail up the stop losses and don't bet more than you're willing to lose all right guys all this video is all about imx immutable x and of course let's go take a look what is imx having to say today imx obviously it has been a very bullish project in the last little while many people looking at potentially taking uh, positions, getting into buy the dip opportunities. And here on the channel, we're patient. We're so patient that we don't get in until we actually hit some good zones. Right now, you know, we could have got in right here. We didn't. We got a back test, rejected, came back down to further levels. And we did anticipate that we would get a little bit of a, you know, reaction right here at about you know a dollar to about 93 cents and we did we did get that re that sort of response we got a bounce to the upside got rejected on that point of control as a back test of this breakdown and then continuation to the downside the ta worked out perfectly now my only issue that we are uh currently is we fell right through the volume gap the weak zone that i always talk about here on the channel if you were able to buy the dip here no worries now where we're going to do is dollar cost average and double up we're going to go in heavy here and one of the the reasons is is because you want to be able to drag down your average cost to lower levels so if you can double up you can drag it down a significantly and get it down to more about 80 cents give or take if you double up that would be really good because if we do get a bounce here the likelihood of you getting in profits a lot sooner increases and and obviously we want to get into profits a lot sooner but not only that but you can get many more profits because now you have a bigger bag so if we do get a, a scenario where we get a, a strong bounce and get back to let's say about a dollar 20 based on these two tops and maybe golden pocket retracements and you know volume gap retracement right about yeah a dollar 30 dollar 25 that would be great right that would be an awesome scenario 
but it's all about the DCA. Let's look in the daily quick to see what's happening with the momentum. And this is why I decided to do the video uh, uh, today on IMX. It's because you can see that the RSI is almost bottomed out. In fact, it is kind of bottomed out. You can see that here on the RSI, we fell below that 30% mark. This is where the magic happens because this is where you get the most volatility. Usually this is where you get the biggest spikes to the downside. And these are the opportunities where you can start spotting bullish divergence at the bottom of the range. Okay, regarding momentum, this is where we want to be right now. So we got to wait for this thing to actually play out. And the reason uh, why I, I would suggest buying the dip here is because we actually got here. And this is why on the channel, I always say, before you buy into the green arrows, make sure that the RSI bottomed out first. So technically speaking, based on that strategy, you shouldn't have bought the dip here. Right, You should have bought the dip here because we actually got to the oversold territory on the RSI on the daily time frame. Okay, so that's important. So finally, getting to the zone gives us a bit of confidence to potentially get in to a trade. You can see I have my spider lines in here that basically uh, there are alarms. There are notifications telling me alerts, basically telling me, you know, buy the dip. And that's what I plan on doing here, guys. But what would be awesome is to let this thing kind of play out just a little bit to get signs of bullish divergence. Now, are we going to let for these signs? Are we going to wait for the signs on the on the daily? We could. It's a bit risky because at the end of the day, we could get a bounce sooner. So this is why, based on this, I wouldn't mind getting in the four day. But one thing that I'm very reluctant on is moving to the four hour because... The EMAs here and the histogram bars on the daily are still facing down and nice and red, which means that the bears are not really done and the bulls are not really, you know, stepping in just yet. So we got to wait. Are there any signs of bullish divergence here? We can see that these two bottoms are going upwards. So what's happening with the price action? Obviously still coming down. Now, are we getting bullish divergence here on the RSI? Not quite. Are we hitting critical levels of support? Yes, we are. These are so critical. Now, as far as the retracement goes, let's use Fibonacci for a second. My charts are going to get a, just a bit messier, but we got to use Fib just to kind of see where we're at regarding Fibonacci theory. Swing low to swing high. Yeah, we're falling below that golden pocket 618. We can potentially hit that 786 which for me is down about, yeah, down here. We get 63 cents, is that possible? So right now I'm looking at a potential 73 cent um, IMX. If I can get into a position right around here, which you can see that it's very likely that we come back down and get closer to about 73 cents or 70 cents down here. And then if we break below, yeah, we do have some support looking left, price action looking left, bottoms looking left, tops looking left, right? So this is the area where we could potentially get support. But if we don't, guys, you can see that we have a, another volume gap here at about 64 cents that could snap to all the way to the 886 to about 50 cents. So this is the thing, buy order here, buy order here, buy order here. This buy order, buy order up here should have been avoided based on the fact that the oscillators did not fully reset. Now that we reset, we have three buy orders that we could play with. Honestly, even buying in right now at 77 cents is not bad, right? Don't wait because you never know, we could get a, a nice relief bounce to the upside and then take profit at 92 cents and then wait for it to fall, especially on the four hour. If we see that there's a potential bottom out scenario and then we get overbought, we can take profits on overbought territory. Maybe um, right when we hit the 200 daily EMA, we can take some profits and come back down and try to ride the ebb and flows of the market, especially of the four hour okay let's get into the four hour quick and see what's happening yeah the momentum has bottomed out significantly here on the rsi this is why i'm getting a bit bullish here in the short term on imx because as the price action is going down you can see that the rsi is getting a bullish divergence upward sloping and hesitant right here and potentially getting weaker and weaker as the bears try to bring down the price so let's be careful here because i'm expecting a bullish response any moment now and you can see that here on the macd that we finally got to this level very extreme levels of the macd the histogram bars are you know upturning a bit getting some of this uh bullishness perhaps bullish divergence on the four hour as the price action is still coming down so for me this is not a bad time to start dcing many factors many factors of confluence obviously the support obviously the bullish divergence obviously everything being oversold uh the rsi uh, and the macd looking for bearish bullish divergence to the upside 
falling through that volume gap and getting support at the bottom of the volume gap is so bullish and part of my one major part of my strategy price action looking left bottoms tops tops bottoms good levels overall and this is why i would consider buying the dip now of course be prepared for lower levels if it does happen you want to be able to dca you know consistently and have some of that capital to buy the dip if we come down buy the dip here because eventually after one two maybe three buy orders we should get a reversal and as you come down you should be willing to double up and this way you get into the profits a lot sooner all right guys that's what i got for you today thank you for stopping by if you haven't yet do the channel a huge favor support the channel slap that like button it does really help with the algorithm and of course you uh, feel free to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action you can follow me on the on the socials the links are in the description including the telegram group and guys tonight we'll talk about more feel free free to join and request any of the altcoins that you're interested in and we'll pull out some charts take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip